Yo, HM the Water Man here. Yo, and I got a question for Coach Reese and the fine folks over at Prophletics. What's the best boxing stance for me? Should I be in this low guard, this middle guard there? Should I go for the high guard? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and get that peekaboo style going? Or should I hit him with that Philly shell? Now, keep in mind, I got real long arms, right? So my body is 6'2", but my arms is 6'8". And I try not to keep my head on the line, you know what I'm saying? Try to keep it moving, make sure I give him that good jab, show off the long arm, keep him at a distance. So I got the mid guard, I got the high guard, and I got the Philly shell. What would be the best um, stance for me to transition from defense to offense with my body type? Do tell. Again, this is for Coach Reese, Pro Athletics. Make sure y'all following for boxing, capoeira, MMA, um, training, and advice. Follow Pro Athletics. Stay tuned for more. What's going on, you all? Coach Reese here, Pro Athletics Fitness. Thank you for the question. Willie Have Mary of HM Power Wash down there in DeSoto, Texas, washing stains away. Good job on the power washing, by the way. So you asked the question, what boxing guard is best for individuals with long arms? I have uh, long arms as well, but not quite as tall as yours. You said you're 6'3 with a 6'8 wingspan. That is insane, by the way. But my personal opinion for anybody who has long arms is... A combination. So it's not necessarily, boom, you don't choose a high guard for one. A high guard leaves too much room for an opponent to close in on you. And it, like I said, this is just my opinion. High guard, absolutely not. And you don't want the typical shell because once again, you're letting people get too close to you. You've gotta be comfortable with your countering when you're in your shell. So, if you watch the fights that Vladimir Klitschko and Lennox Lewis had, taught by the great and legendary rest in peace Emmanuel Stewart, they had a lead guard here on their hand. So you have more of a speed guard, traditional, but you've got your hand partially laid out. That leaves no uh, chance or a limited chance for a shorter opponent to come in on you. So if I stand to the side with it, I have my lead hand out pawing, boom. Pawing with my lead hand. That leaves a couple of different defenses aside from the factor that they're gonna have to reach past your lead hand to make their way in. So if I've got my lead hand already out, for one, my jab hand is already halfway closer to my target. So with me pawing that lead hand, they're gonna have to work past it. So I've got my right hand back here ready to catch if they do get past my lead hand. My lead hand creates a forearm deterrent where I can lift up either hand coming in, the right hand coming in, I can lift it up there. Um, if they're, we're pawing at the lead hands here, boom, you can cross here, cross block, come back around with the hook block, you're here, boom, cross, shoot your jab back, Whatever the case is. So the guard, in my opinion, that is best for tall people with long arms is a traditional guard, traditional speed guard with the lead arm partially out and pawing. So you really, really, really need to develop that lead arm to make sure that you've got the endurance enough to keep that person at bay. And when they get hungry to come in or if they're closing a little bit, boom, and you're right back on it. So you're pretty much like a conduct, it looks like I'm conducting an orchestra right here you know, a symphony orchestra. So, boom, you've got the endurance to make sure that you're pawing at that hand. Boom, you can shoot over top of their lead hand if you're pawing down with it, or you can create the opening with the lift of the forearm. Boom, shoot to the body, whatever the case is. But I do not suggest high guard here, don't suggest it. Traditional guard here, definitely don't suggest it. And I don't suggest a closed version of the Philly shell. I suggest leading that arm out and conducting the orchestra. Hopefully this video helps you out. Um, if anybody else has any vlog request or anything, tag me in it. Shoot a video. Let's get to it. I like these vlog ideas. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in.